Hey, how's it going guys? Matt here from Toasty DIY and I'm here with a very quick video showing you how you can overclock your RAM or in other words, enable XMP, which is basically overclocking but not really overclocking. Little do you know, when you buy your RAM at a rated speed, most of the time it will default to, well, the lowest speed that it can actually run at. So let's say you buy 3200 megahertz or 3600 megahertz RAM, that RAM is probably gonna be running at 2400 megahertz or 2133 megahertz out the box therefore you're losing performance so to make sure you're getting what you paid for what you need to do is go into the bios now i apologize for this being super unprofessional using my phone as the camera but at home i don't have a good capture card set up to record my pc here but what we're going to do is going to enable this ram which is actually 3000 megahertz ram but as you can see in task manager which if you guys want to check for yourselves and make sure your ram is running at the rated speed uh go to task manager obviously click on performance and click on memory and down here you will see what's speed your memory is running at and mine's running at 2400 megahertz and you know what that is not 3000 megahertz so we're going to go ahead and restart the pc real quick and what you're going to do it depends on your motherboard most of the time you have to get into the bios by hitting either the delete key rapidly f2 f4 f8 f11 or f12 uh, if you have a newer like uh, gaming motherboard like mine then uh, delete is probably your best option what you're going to go ahead and do is just spam delete as it restarts my PC is roaring. Yes, it's some of the beauty of it. It just decides to like, you know, roar really loudly. I don't understand why. So you're gonna smash that delete button. Just keep smashing. See, mine says right here, delete or F2. So I could have done F2 also, but just keep spamming F2. All right, now that you're in the BIOS, this is the part that's gonna be a little bit different. I have an Asus motherboard, which means uh, my overclocking settings are a little bit different than yours. But the general rule of thumb is to go into advanced mode on whatever BIOS you're using. Sometimes it can be right here, sometimes it'll be in the top right corner. But what you're gonna do is click on advanced mode and go to overclocking, um, AI tweaker is what Asus calls theirs. Uh, but there's different things for XMP. Now, Asus does not call XMP XMP. They use their DO. DOCP overclocker, which basically overclocks the RAM. It's the same thing as XMP, but they call it DOCP for whatever reason. And all you have to do to do some overclocking on Asus boards is go to DOCP. Um, you want to try this one and then maybe try the standard version if you have um, some stability issues, which I'll talk about more in a minute. But all you have to do is hit on DOCP or DOCP standard, and then the RAM speed will be selected to 3000 megahertz. The timings will be adjusted and all the different stuff will be done for you. So all you really have to do from here is hit save, we'll go to exit, save and reset. And this is changing my memory frequency for 2400 to 3000 megahertz, pretty simple. Hit okay. And now the moment of truth is will your system post? And sometimes it won't post. I'll be honest with you, the motherboard I have right now is an older X370 motherboard and it does not work very well with RAM um, overclocking. Sometimes it's unstable. I actually removed two of my sticks from here and I only have 16 gigs of RAM now because it does not like to use um, well, all four dim. So we're gonna see if this actually works. I'm not totally sure or totally confident if it will, but once we get into Windows, we'll be able to test and see um, if our overclocked worked. All right, we are back into Windows. We're going to, well, reveal the moment of truth. Do we at 3000 megahertz? And it does look like we were at 3000 megahertz. Now, as I mentioned, if for some reason you do not post at 3000 megahertz or whatever speed you're doing, 3600, whatever speed it is, if you don't post, um, there are a couple things you can do. One, you should update your BIOS. Most of the time, newer BIOS revisions will improve memory stability. And then sometimes, I'll be honest, you're just kind of out of luck. Uh, I know first-gen Ryzen boards like this guy right here has a lot of issues with memory overclocking and sometimes you're just not going to get the overclocks you really want so make sure you check out the motherboard that you're using in your system and see what memory is technically supported um, that is the best way to get memory that will xmp without any problems whatsoever but um, just because you post you're not totally in the clear if you start having some blue screens and stuff like that it might be best for you to go back and revert back to the 2400 megahertz but especially if you're on a ryzen system um, you definitely can take advantage of having some faster memory and it will improve your fps and games. So I hope you guys enjoyed this very quick video on how to overclock your memory or basically get the speed that you paid for because a lot of people don't understand that when you do get your uh, RAM that you buy 3600 megahertz RAM or whatever speed it is you're probably not running at that speed out of the gate so be sure to do that get that free FPS that you deserve and uh, yeah be sure to like comment subscribe let me know if you guys have any other quick tutorial ideas that you want me to uh, put out there for you guys to have as a very available resource and uh, yeah I will see you guys in the next one.